Hello guys, welcome to Ankit Sunil Vids. Today I'll tell you the detailed process on how to become a doctor in India. So let's start. Step number one is as soon you pass your 10th standard, you have to choose subjects like biology, physics, chemistry. This is the very very basic requirement. English is required if you want to go to the top institutes like AIMS and JIPMA. Then step two is the basic requirement is you must have passed your 12th standard with the subjects like physics, chemistry and biology. Then the third step is you have to crack the BDS or MBBS entrance exam. Previously every institute used to conduct their own separate exam but now there is only one exam which is called national eligibility come entrance test for undergraduation UG that is NEET. Only two institutes which are not included in NEET is AIMS and JIPMA. These two institutes still conduct their entrance exam separately other than NEET. So let's talk little in detail about these entrance exam. NEET is conducted every yearly. The forms are available from January. The NEET exam is conducted in nearby in the first week of May and the results are declared by the first week of June. There is now maximum three attempts from 2017. This have been a new rule and NEET UG is a single stage exam it is not like first you have to clear the pre then you have to clear the mains it's only one exam with 180 mcqs of physics chemistry biology in biology half would be of geology and half would be of botany if you crack neat you can get seats in mbbs colleges and bds colleges bds is a dental colleges the duration is three hours and there are negative marking for the wrong answers for more detail you must go and visit cbc neat dot nic.in website question paper is conducted in these 10 languages eligibility for NEET UG is like you must have complete your 17 years at the time of admission into the medical colleges after counseling the upper age limit is 25 years of age with the relaxation of five years for the category students Indian nationals NRIs OCIs PIOs or foreign nationals are also eligible to appear in NEET. Second exam is AIMS. The forms for AIMS is available from January end and the exam is conducted in the last week of May and the results for the AIMS is declared by the first or second week of the June. The minimum requirement for AIMS is you have to pass English, Physics, Chemistry, Biology and their average to be 60% for general and OBC candidates. For category students it should be minimum 50%. The minimum age is 17 years of age. Previously there was only one AIMS which was in New Delhi. Now there are six more AIMS resulting into total seven AIMS. The total seats are 707. The AIMS exam have 200 MCQs. The question paper language is in Hindi and English only. The duration of the exam is 3.5 hours. There is negative marking. And for more details, please log on to aimsexams.org. In AIMS exam, there are 10 questions related to general knowledge and 10 questions related to aptitude and logical thinking. Uh, REST 6060 is for physics, chemistry, biology. For JIPMA UG entrance exams, forms are out in the last week of March and the exam is generally conducted in the first week of June and the results are out in second or third week of the June. The previously there was only one JIPMA which was in Puducherry but now there are two JIPMA, JIPMA Puducherry and JIPMA Karaka. Seats in JIPMA Puducherry is 150 and seats in JIPMA Karaka is 50. So overall there are 200 seats. For more details please log on to JIPMA website jipma.edu.in. The JIPMA exam is of 2.5 hours of duration and the question paper language is only English. Uh, the only good thing about JIPMA entrance exam is that there is no negative marking. There are 10 questions uh, related to English, 10 questions related to logical and quantitative reasoning and 60 60 questions related to physics, chemistry, biology. When you crack the entrance exam with good rank, then you are called for counseling. Then you have to select a good MBBS or a good dental college. Basically, there would be a government medical colleges and private medical colleges to in need. The fee would be too high in private medical colleges. Government medical colleges are very very cheap. You get exposed to lot of patient in government medical college compared to private medical colleges. Based on your entrance rank and 
the quota available for you you can choose the best colleges mbbs is a bachelor degree uh, remember mbbs is a 4.5 years of duration of study where in first year they will be teaching you pre clinical subjects like anatomy physiology biochemistry second year would be of 1.5 years where they will be teaching you para clinical subjects like pathology microbiology pharmacology and forensic medicine third year would be of one year where they will be teaching you ophthalmology auto rhino laryngology community medicine the fourth year would be of general medicine general surgery pediatrics obstetrics and gynecology you have to do one year of rotatory internship where you'll be posted in all the departments and after the satisfactory completion of your one year of internship you'll be granted your mbbs degree then there will be degree registration and you can get your practice license issued by state medical council but remember here you can only practice as a general physician because mbbs is a jack of all trade but master of none after mbbs you have to go for specialization to get a seat in specialization in a particular medical field again you have to write a pg entrance exam which is a post graduation exam there is a need for it aims jipma sgpgi nimhans these exams is for to get md or ms degree or else you can go for diplomate in national board dnb exam after getting a good rank in pg entrance exam you have to pass that exam for more detail you must watch my previous video on specialization courses after mbbs in india here you can get each and every detail what are the branches or options available in an overview you have to pass your 12th standard with physics chemistry biology and english 2 then you have to crack mbbs entrance exam like neat aims and jipma get a good medical college graduate from there get your mbbs degree register yourself and for specialization then again you have to crack your pg entrance exam thank you for watching this video hope this video would have helped you see you guys in my next video bye bye